Hi everyone. Welcome to the session of design and analysis of algorithms. In this session, we deal with recursive algorithms. The agenda of the session is to discuss the definition of recursive algorithm, to identify the types of recursive algorithm, to solve towers of Hanoi problem, and other examples. Let us see the definition. In the earlier classes in C language, we learned about recursive function. A recursive function is a function which calls itself. Similarly, a recursive algorithm is defined as an algorithm which is invoked in its body. What are the types of recursive? There are two types of recursive algorithms. The algorithm may be direct recursive algorithm or indirect recursive algorithm. An algorithm A is said to be direct recursive if it calls itself. An algorithm A is said to be indirect recursive if it calls another algorithm which in turn calls A. Example, A is an algorithm which calls an algorithm B where B itself again calls an algorithm A and A is termed as indirect recursive algorithm. Every recursive algorithm has two elements, base case and a general case. Base case is a statement which solves a particular part of the problem, whereas general case reduces the size of the problem. Every recursion function must have a base case and the rest of the function is termed as a general case. How to design a recursive algorithm? It's very simple. Initially, determine the base case, then determine the general case. Now, combine the base case and general case into an algorithm. It's done. Let us take an example of Tavos of Hanoi problem. Before solving the problem, let us identify what is the problem A. Towers of Hanoi puzzle is fashioned after an ancient tower of Brahma ritual. According to the legend, at the time of the world creation, there was a diamond tower named A with 64 golden discs. All the discs were placed in the decreasing size and were stacked on the top of the tower. The discs are placed in such a way that the smaller disc is placed on the larger disc. Besides this tower, there are two other towers named B and C. Since the time of the creation, the Brahmin priests have been attempting to move the disc from A to the tower B, using the help of the C as an intermediate storage. As the discs were heavy, they cannot be moved at once. Only one disc can be moved at a time. In addition to that, no time can a disk be on the top of a smaller disk. It means that never a larger disk can be placed on a smaller disk. According to the legend, the world will come to an end when the priests have completed their task. This is Tavos of Hanoi problem. In this problem, we will try to identify the base case and the general case. The base case in the problem is moving one disk from source tower to the destination tower. The general case is moving n minus one disk from source tower to the intermediate tower. The solution is as follows. Move n minus one disk from source tower to the intermediate tower labeled C. Then move one disk that is nth disk from the source tower A to the destination tower B. Move the n minus one disk which are residing on the tower C to the destination tower B. That's all. The solution is done. Let us try to develop the algorithm for this problem. The algorithm 
towers of Hanoi is used to solve the towers of Hanoi regard safety. And this algorithm, yen, is taken as the number of disks where A, B, C are the towers. The order of N, A, B, C says move the top N disks from tower A to tower B. Initially, check if the number of disks are greater than equal to one. If n is greater than equal to one, then the first step says move n minus one disk from tower A to tower C, that is an intermediate tower with help of B. The second step says move the top disk from the tower A to tower B. The third step, now move the n minus one disk from the tower C to tower B with help of A. We are done with the solution of towers of Hanoi problem. Let us see and one more example, a recursive algorithm for factorial of a number. Factorial of a number can be calculated using recursive algorithm also. Let us try to identify the base case and general case. The base case is factorial of zero is equal to one. The general case is factorial of any number n is equal to n into factorial of n minus one. Example, four factorial can be written as four into three factorial. Now let us try to write the algorithm for the factorial of a number. The algorithm is to find the factorial of a number where n is the number given to the algorithm. If n is equal to zero, return one, else return n into factorial of n minus one. The turn is very simple. Let us see one more example. To write a recursive algorithm to generate n term in a Fibonacci series. Before that, what is a Fibonacci series? A Fibonacci series is as follows. Zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, so on. Let us identify the base case. Fibonacci of zeroth term is zero. Fibonacci of the first term is one. To calculate the Fibonacci of the any of the nth term, it is obtained by the sum of n minus one term plus n minus two term. Now let us try to write algorithm for the Fibonacci series. The algorithm is to generate the nth value in the Fibonacci series, where n is the term number. If n is equal to zero or n is equal to one, you are returning the corresponding n as Fibonacci of zero is zero and Fibonacci of one is one. Else, I am supposed to add Fibonacci of n minus one term plus Fibonacci of n minus two term and return the result. Example, Fibonacci of 2 is equal to Fibonacci of 1 plus Fibonacci of 0, which in turn Fibonacci of 1 is equal to 1 and Fibonacci of 0 is equal to 0. And the second term in the Fibonacci series, Fibonacci of 2 is equal to 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. That's all. And this way I can calculate the nth term and the Fibonacci series using recursive algorithm. Recursion algorithm is an algorithm which calls itself in the bottom. In this session, we have discussed about recursion algorithms, types of recursion algorithms, service of Hanoi problem, and how to write factorial of a number Fibonacci series problems using recursive algorithms. Thank you.